There is a supernatural world that surrounds us, and sometimes it manifests to people like you and me. You'll hear stories about this, so much more, right here on Supernatural Confrontations. I think you'll find today's guest, as we we have every guest that's ever come on, they're great, great testimonies, incredible stories. I'm sure you'll find it interesting. But first, a word from our trusted sponsor. Collagen is often referred to as our modern day fountain of youth, and for a good reason. Our body loses its natural ability to produce collagen as we age. This is the reason why we see a visible decline in our skin, hair, and nails. Supplementing collagen can help reverse those visible signs of aging, but we have to make sure we're getting it from the right source. This multi-collagen uses a unique blend of the top five critically most important types of collagen our bodies need to help bring back the youthfulness into our skin, hair, and nails. Folks, mix it into the morning drink once a day, that's what I do, and watch as your body re-energizes and rejuvenates itself from the inside out, thanks to this powerful blend of collagen. If you've ever wondered how celebrities keep their skin, hair and nails glowing, now you know. Folks, order it today to get a bundle of benefits like VIP health and fitness coaching for life and a new downloadable report called The 14 Foods for Amazing Skin, completely free. Folks, please be sure to go to healthwithla.com, that's healthwithla.com, or click the link below for more information. So I'm here with Shawnee, and she had a supernatural confrontation. And tell us what happened, please. Well, I was driving back from my friend's house. It's like a mile away from my house. And I was just coming back to pick up something really quick and run back down to her house. And as I'm driving down the road, this guy was standing in the middle of the road. And he had like a clipboard and it, it just struck me because the, it was a nice day. You know, my windows were down. It was just a, a nice day. Um, and he had, he was dressed like in pajamas when he had like a jacket on and <laughs> it, it, he just looked really out of place and he had dark hair and he was tall and slender, but he was standing in the middle of the road and he had this clipboard and he's looking around just like he was lost, like, just dazed and he was just you know like kind of just turning like that and i thought well that's kind of weird you know so as i got closer to him i just he just kind of gave me the creeps and he kind of leaned in as i drove by like you know he didn't like put his head in the window obviously but he just leaned in like looking really you know and i thought oh that was weird and so i was really close to my house i i drove down the drive then and and in my mind, I, you know, I'm talking to the Lord all the time in my head, and, you know, just, I don't know, I just do. And and I'm thinking, you know, Lord, if he's there when I get back, I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus because that was just too creepy. So I run in my house and I get back in the, in the truck and I get out there. And as I turn on the road, I look down and it's, he's probably like two football fields away. I mean, he's a long ways away. And I said, I don't even know if I said it out loud, but I, I said, blood of Jesus. It was either in my head or out loud. And he turned around straight and looked right at me from that far away. There's no possible way he could have heard me. And I just, I, I, remember, I remember just thinking, oh my gosh, that is so creepy. But I wasn't afraid. And the closer I got to him, I just felt like, like, like you put on a big jacket or something, like a big cloak came over me, like, like Holy Spirit just was like, you know, just protecting me. And I felt like I was, you know, 10 feet tall and bulletproof. <laughs> and I wasn't one bit intimidated. I wasn't afraid. And as I drove by him, it was just kind of like, Piff, you know, just nothing. And I never saw him again. I went to my friends and, and then um, I went back. And at the time, this is shameful, but at the time I used to play the video pokers. But since COVID, the Lord's saved me from doing those. And I'm so thankful. But um. 
I could, you know, it was, those things are very addicting, but he, he healed me from that. So I'm very grateful. Um, but I was in there and playing the machines and probably a half an hour, it, it had been passed by this time, maybe an hour, right down the road from where that, that guy was at or that thing, a fire broke out in this little shed that's across from a minute mark there. And it was just very bizarre. There was a lot of black tire, you know, tires and stuff. And so the just black smoke was coming up and I was asking around, you know, what in the world? It just was very strange that that happened. Um, I don't know. Some time had went by at, this was, I think, was like in 2017 is what I'm thinking. Okay. And it's so strange because I remember it like it was yesterday, but I can't remember the year, you know. But um, anyways, I became friends with somebody that lived around there. And at the same time around there, he had um, left a uh, soldering iron, I guess, plugged in. So I'm not sure, honestly, if it was that day that that fire started or, you know, it was just... I don't know for sure, but it was very strange that day. I remember thinking that is so weird. That guy was just, he wasn't from here. You know, if you've ever seen like a, a, a calf be born, um, how they stand, you know, they're just really wobbly on their legs and they just, you know, I just kind of say it like he was like a calf with new legs, you know, he just was standing just days looking around like, you know, where am I? What am I doing here? And it was just really bizarre. Let me ask you something, Shawnee. Um, so you go to your house, you get what you're going to get, you come back in the car, and he's like 100 yards or 150 yards away from you. And you call out to the Lord, you say the blood of Jesus, and instantly he turns his face towards you, correct? But he's yeah, still, he's still a, how far away when he does that? He was probably at least, at least a football field away, if okay. not two. So there's no way he, he can hear long. you. No way in the no. world he can hear you. And yet he turns around and, and what describe his expression. I realize it's a long way away, but can you describe his yeah, expression? That's the same thing that was so strange, too, is that you think that that far away, well, how would I know that he was looking at me? But I knew it was very spiritual. It was very. I, I've had a lot of things happen, you know, with the Lord in my life experiences that um, with the supernatural, you know, so. I think that in my spirit mind, I just, I knew he was just, he was walking and he just zoomed, just like that. It was just as if he just looked right at me like that. And he turned his whole body around, right, right as I said it or thought that. I don't even think I said it out loud, but I could have, you know. And again, I, I talk to the Lord all the time. Sometimes it's audible and sometimes it's not. I'm just, you know. Um, but anyways, yeah, it it was just so, it was very spiritual that it, it the way that it felt. So when, when, when you got up, when you got up close to him, what did he do at that point? Did, what was his facial expression? You know, I didn't even look at him. It was really? like I saw him go by. I didn't even. It was just as if Holy Spirit went nope and just you know enveloped me, and I, I seriously felt like it was just like just get off me, because at first it was it was shocking and startling. You know, it was just creepy, and so. For him to, the Holy Spirit to protect me, it makes sense to me that he did that, you know, that I didn't even notice him again. How, how old do you yeah. think this guy was? I would say late 20s. And did you ever see anybody on that street? Because I'm assuming this is close to your house. So if, if he lived near there, you would at least see him again. Did you ever see anyone yeah. who resembled him? No, never. And like I said, he was dressed weird as if, as if he just got out of an asylum or something. I mean, that's, that's what struck me. It was just like, he was in like pajamas, but then with a, a heavy jacket on and then this clipboard, you know? And the thing that's really strange to me too, is that I have a friend that he's always, you know, going for walks with the Lord, he says. And so we'll be talking and he's like, oh, you know, the Lord showed up, I gotta go. I'm like, okay. Well, this one day he had told me, be on, be on the lookout for people that just don't seem like they fit. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, they look like people, but they just don't, there's something just not right with them. And I was like, okay, Bill, you know, whatever. And this is, you know, a, a very good friend. And, and let me go, 
preface this by saying he when he would say he was going for a walk with the Lord. Okay, I just write it off and we'd be texting and say, okay, have a good have a good walk. Well, this one day he does that, and the next thing I see on he messages me a picture, and I'm okay. What am I looking at here, Bill? It was his closet door, and you can see like when the light's shining on a on a wood surface, you know, a closet door. I'm like, what am I looking at here, Bill? Jesus. As I'm looking at it, you know, when you look into a 3D picture, those ones that you have to look at for a while, that's what happened. And I can't explain it. I looked and and it was Jesus in a three, three fold, like, like a, when, you know, you can't, I can't even, I've never seen anything like it. It was like three still pictures, but in one picture. He wow. was walking in, he walked this, this, and then he was turning. And he had, you know, his, um, the robe that he, that you see, like a lot of times in pictures. And I was blown away. I'm like, Jesus. And I texted him, I, that's what I said. I said, Jesus. And he said, yeah, I told you he just came in. We're going for a walk. Like it was nothing. So, you know, that's how he is. And I'm like, but, 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 but that's Jesus, you know, right, I was right. blown away. And then. What's so weird about that also is that I'm like walking around my house going, Jesus, I mean, this is just so amazing. You're my best friend and I know that you're real and everything, but I just saw your picture. I can't even believe this. And then, so I go about my day. The next day I'm trying to tell my friend, um, my girlfriend about it. I go on my phone and it's gone. The picture is gone. I had erased it somehow. I would never have done that. I would not do that, right? So then I said, well, we're gonna have to get a hold of Bill because you've got to see this. It's just amazing. So we go to his house and he said, I don't have it either. He said, my phone, he transferred phones and that phone, he, he, he lost the picture. And I said, well, it must've been just meant for you and I to see. Wow. It was just a gift from the, yeah. Wow. I mean, incredible. Yeah. Wow. So. Well, I, let me, let me think, just circle but, back I mean, to the guy on the road with the clipboard. When you went yeah. by the first time, did you make any eye contact with him? The first time, I didn't stare directly into his eyes, no. But I did. I mean, I I noticed his eyes. What did but they, they look just like? Dark, you know. They're just, if they were any color, it was brown. You know, they didn't look like, like alien eyes or anything, or really big or anything like right. that. Except for he was, he looked like he didn't know what he was doing. He just kind of that duh, you know, that kind of look. Yeah. Was he was he Very wearing big. shoes or was he barefoot? He was wearing shoes, but I, I couldn't honestly tell you. I just, I didn't see bare feet. I just, you know, he was fully dressed, but very warm any, for what it was. You know? Any tattoos or rings or jewelry? No, he was covered up. He looked like he came from somewhere cold and huh. it was warm here. What, what, was, the, what so, was the temperature there that night? Um, it was the daytime. It was probably about 11... 30 in the you know 11 or 12 in the afternoon uh, morning afternoon right. and um it was i mean you know i live in the northwest so it's it's not really hot but it wasn't raining it was it was a nice day i mean i had my windows down probably like 70s probably yeah. and so he has like a winter jacket on or just a windbreaker what what did the jacket look like yeah no he had a dark jacket like a a thick jacket. Um, I couldn't tell you what the material was, that it was, it just looked out of place. And I remember what my friend had said, you know, look for somebody that anybody that looks out of place. Um, and yeah, he had, he would go for walks at nighttime and stuff. And, and he had people just appear out of nowhere and then disappear. And he'd tell me these things. And I'm like, I don't know about this, you know, it just freaked me out. But then when this happened to me, I'm like, okay, you know, I mean, he really, he he wasn't lying, you know. It was just so bizarre. Very strange. Well, thank you so much yeah. for coming on the record, Shawnee. Really appreciate yes. it. And there you have it, folks. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, by the way, guys, I will be at uh, in Missouri at, at Calvary Church, River Bend. Check that out. You can go to our website, lamarzuli.net, our streaming site, lamarzuli.net, streaming.lamarzuli.net, streaming. .net. You've got all the videos there, 25 videos to watch. Uh, the website's got the books, so check it out. Lots of things going on. 
And before I go, I just want to say that um, I just thank all of you for coming on the record and and uh, sharing your stories and your testimonies. It's it's a great platform, and we thank the Lord for that. Thank you, Shani, for coming on. Yes, thank you. Folks, before I go, there's a supernatural world, and sometimes it manifests to people like you and me. Thanks so much for watching.